Hey guys, my name is Dan. And um, you guys ever work on a bunch of automation and then you end up changing the parameter that it's linked to? Well, here's how you can recover all that work you did in, in uh, your automation. So what you would have had to done, or you can go back to the project and open it up if it's in a different project or something like that, something you'd like to change over. Double click on the pattern clip itself. This win window pops up. Then you come up here, go over to the right, upper right, and then you save the channel state. Choose the folder you want to put it into, right? Then go in your file manager in FL Studio and make sure that file is linked. And then pull that clip in. Now, even though this isn't linked to any parameters in anything in this current project, you can still, uh, you can either double click on it to get the window to show up, because um, there's a handy little uh, wrench here. You can copy the state. Uh, similarly, you can you could have just clicked here, go to Articulator Tools, and copy the state here. And then uh, you make your other automation clip that's linked to the current parameter in your current project, and go down to Articulator Tools, paste it, and all that work you might have done on an auto automation clip in another project or another time is now available in a new project to the proper uh, and uh, parameter that you want it to be used for. Now, that's not a really good example, but um, let's see. Let's try this one just for kicks and giggles. Now that you got uh, now that you guys know how to do it, so that's all you do, and um, that's um, you know to save you know save you a lot of time in that fashion. So anyway, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. And um, have a great day.